Welcome to another session on arrays. Today we're going to be looking at, look at sorting a one-dimensional array. The GUI has already been set it up. We're running from our previous sessions. The first button populate, we've, been, we've done. Display, we've done search. Today we are on sort. I'm going to double click on sort. And I've already declared two variables, i, k, which is from our loop variables. I've also declared temp, which is of type integer. The first thing you need to do when you do a sort is you need to set up two loops. I'm going to set up a for i loop and a for k loop. Now, the first loop i is assigned 1 to 9. The loop needs to run from 1 to the number of elements minus 1. I have 10 elements, so I'm running it to 9. The second loop runs from i plus 1, the previous loop counter, to the number of elements, and in this case it is 10. Next thing you need to do when you're working with sorting is you need to compare the adjacent cells in the array. So I'm going to use an if statement and say if ARR, and the first loop variable is i, if ARR of i is greater than ARR of k. And I'm using a capital K, so I'm going to change that to capital K. Then you're comparing if ARR of i is greater than ARR of k, then you need to do a swap. So I'm going to say begin. And to do a swap, when you swap two variables, or you're swapping the contents of two variables, you need to create a temporary storage variable. In my case, I'm going to say swap, which is assigned ARR of i, which is my first one I was using in my comparison. Then I'm going to say ARR of i is assigned ARR of k. And lastly, ARR of k is assigned swap, which temporarily holds the first value. And this is my sort. Very quickly, we run two loops, i1 to 9, k is assigned i plus 1 to 10. We check if ARR of i is greater than ARR of k. Greater than will we'll sort the array in ascending order. If you want descending, change the greater than to less than. And then we swap. So it will be good for us to actually test this program. So I'm going to quickly run this program. And I'm picking up an error. And you'll notice I've declared the variable temp, but I'm using swap. So very quickly, I'm going to take a temp and call it swap. So let's run it again. And I have two errors, which is quite interesting. I've deleted something previously, which I am not using. So I'm going to actually ignore that piece of code. Slash slash. And then I'm going to run it again. And if we do that, we'll notice it works. Populate, display. Okay, I'm going to ignore search and I'm going to go to sort. And you notice that the array is still the same. So, returning to my code, very quickly going to sort, you will notice that I sorted the array, but I haven't displayed the array. So, what I need to do is I've already written code. We'll set up a button called display. So I'm going to call for this button. So it will display the contents of the array after the array is sorted. So I'm going to go after my sort is complete. I'm going to say btn control space. And you'll notice that of all my buttons, I have uh, the office picking all my buttons. And I'm going to say action. So it's actually calling for the button display click which will display the contents of the array i'm also going to clear the memo memo one dot lines dot okay i'm going to go back and just say dot clear so that'll clear the memo before it displays so that'll clear it and that'll this is the code to sort the array, and then I'm calling for button display, which will display the contents of the array. So let's run it again. And if we do that, we have populate display. You'll notice your array, which is not sorted. 
and if I click sort now and you will notice that the array has been sorted and it's being displayed. Thank you.